I don't want us to go home Yeah, you could be my lifeline, you could be my sunshine In a world so full of pain Can you make it go? Hey guys, welcome back to your channel And welcome to another video I did it again because I wasn't going to do it Anyways, um, in today's video <laughs> we're going to do In today's video we're going to be doing um, I don't know what we're doing what are we doing? Um, but I was uh, I was scrolling through my YouTube um, like community stuff, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, looking at other people's community posts, and I came across this post from the New York Times, and I figured it'd be a good thing, you know, with Valentine's Day having just passed, mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity to really um, build on those relationships that are either just forming or that fire that's freshly lit or relit mm -hmm. after after the holiday. With with that having just passed, I figured um, it would be a great time to share this this thing that I saw. Uh, it's basically seven exercises that are made to strengthen your relationship. And I figured, you know, we'd go through what we can go through here. Because mm -hmm. um, some of them as I read through them, you'll, you guys will understand. Some of them are just a little, uh... Like, can't be done yeah. just right now? Yeah. Like, can't okay. really just do it now. Or it's just a little too intimate. So it's one of those, like, special moments. Okay. But, we're gonna make it... I think we, we ought to make a commitment on this first one. Mm -hmm. I'll share it with you in a second. Okay. Alright? Mm -hmm. So, let's start with number one. Did you notice the camera angle changed or it sounds a little bit different? Uh, our camera died. Or maybe died. I don't know. It yeah. won't accept now. But, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with number one. Keep track of the good stuff. Mm. Do you want to go first? I mean, I can. And this is why I was saying I really, I really think we ought to make a commitment on this one, mm -hmm. um, because it really isn't just a hey list good things. Sure, we're gonna list good things because it's a great opportunity to take a moment to be grateful, mm -hmm. right? But act on those good things. No, mm -hmm. that's not what I'm saying about the commitment, though. Okay. I'm saying the commitment is that we keep track of the good stuff going forward mm -hmm. every day. At least try to think of at least one good thing. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pick a good thing on our next Get Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. To talk about? Well, to list. Mm -hmm. Just to keep going on the keeping track of the good stuff. Okay. It, it takes, it gives us a moment to brag on one another. Because that it's a good moment to build one another up, especially in front of the, and especially in front of you guys. It's a great chance for us to raise one another up the way that we should to build each other, you know, bigger. Yeah. In a marriage, that's growth. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. Can I have a water, please? Of course. Change my mind. This is very sweet. By the way. Uh, if you guys notice as well, we are sitting a little bit further apart today. We got a new addition to the office. <laughs> our office cooler. So let's Yeah, go you ahead. said we're gonna keep let's track go of Yeah. So going forward, let's mm -hmm. keep track of you know something good every day. You and I can share it among among ourselves, but we'll pick something on our next get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it. She got me flowers this week for Valentine's Day. Kind of a big deal for me. Um, sure, it's sappy and kind of corny. Not. But well, corny in the sense where I understand that. Yeah. It, oh, it, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what so I mean, of course, because like, it's outside the norm. So, so, yeah, outside of the norm. But with with that, like not only that, you guessed my favorite one of my favorite flowers, like mm -hmm. right off, right off the rip, and. It was, it was really a great experience for me. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, looking back a couple of weeks, you gave me an awesome birthday. Oh, did you enjoy it? I mean, you told me you enjoyed it, but mm -hmm. like, yeah. And 
<laughs> and just just as recently as you know today, mm -hmm. you stepped outside your comfort zone and you tried something with me mm -hmm. that you don't normally do. It's like what the game? Breast strap? Oh, the game. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, I'm a, I'm a gamer now, so if you want to eat me up, yeah. my name is Bad Gal Cher. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a good You're not a good <laughs> 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 Guys, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to share in something that he likes. I'm not a fanatic of video gaming, but I realize that it's kind of... I don't have to be all gamey, but at least I was willing to try and I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> I don't want to enjoy it too much because I want to use my time differently. It really spends a lot of time on video games. And I don't want to be invest so much time on video games like that because I have a lot of things going on outside too, so yeah. But I enjoyed it. Does it really make you happy that I'm actually playing yeah. with you? Yeah. It makes, yeah. Me, it makes me really happy that you're... Well, this is my things. Mm -hmm. What are your three? My three... I mean, the first one I can just list right off the top of my head. You know, Valentine's Day just passed. I really don't celebrate Valentine's Day. No religious reason or anything. But this year, you bought me a nice bouquet of flowers. It wasn't red roses, which was really good because I don't like red roses. And you got me card, you got me Skittles because I love Skittles. Skittles in the art shape. Um, so that was really big for me. The second thing, uh, this week I grabbed my lunch out of the, the, the fridge in a rush just to get to work. Saw a note on it and said, I love you goofball. And... Hope I have an amazing day at work. You know, just a cute little note. And that was. Yeah, do you remember writing verse. that? Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, exactly yeah you, you gave me a Bible verse. You, I think you read the Bible verse first. So I try to have a good day at work today. Mm -hmm. And I love you, goofball. Mm -hmm. And something. Do you remember else? what verse it was? Luke something. No. Wasn't Luke? Oh, it was I had the sticker in my bag. It's Philippians four thirteen. Yeah, I can Bowl, do. Because yes. it was Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. You say I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because I, re I mean, I know Philippians four thirteen off my head, but it was that's that. why I didn't write it. Yeah, <laughs> I just wrote Philippians four thirteen. Yeah, that was um, that was the second thing, and trust me, <laughs> there's a lot that you do. He makes me a cocoa. <laughs> you makes me a cocoa like almost every night when we drink our cocoa, and it's like when I'm so tired, so I'm like. Uh, you know, like cocoa, but the minute it got there, just like warms my heart and I feel so comfortable going to bed. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, what's number two? Number two. Mm -hmm. Old hands. Old hands. Uh, we hold hands a lot. Do we? No. no. We actually what don't. do you mean? Uh, you said, uh, you said, yes, then no. We used to old. Every time we go to Walmart, I'm arms in arms with you, like, where is it that we... You're right. There we are, used to hold two, hands a lot. Correct. There are we about two to. situations mm -hmm. where I think we hold hands a lot now. Where? When we're driving mm -hmm. and when we get out of the car before we get into a place. Really? Mm -hmm. We hold hands a lot when we're driving, for, like, from a longer time, like that. Mm -hmm. But we used to hold hands, like, every... Like every time, does it make you feel? What does it make you feel when you hold my hand? I mean, I don't know. It just makes me feel secure. Like I am safe, and I am especially like what you wear out or anything. Really? Yeah, just oh. makes me feel like I'm safe, but, and but, I don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like that. Well, for me, it kind of makes me feel uh, I'm just comfortable. Mm -hmm. and, it make it makes me feel kind of like calm and supported. Mm -hmm. um, like you know, you know, I don't do well in public or in huge crowds or yeah. anything like that. So having you there, especially holding my hand, really makes a huge difference. Okay, not bad. 
What's number three? This is one of the ones that I don't think we can do because it's something that takes a little bit of like, a little bit of time. Uh, let's we read can to each it. other. Oh, read to each other. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, as you said that. If you watch my last video, you'll see that my book is now published. Please go ahead and get your copy on Amazon. It's called The Fight in Me. <laughs> and you can read, you can read it. Read it to your spouse, read it to your boyfriend, read the chapter about my journey to find you through love, and read it to your spouse. It would be a good thing to read <laughs> to your spouse. All right, number four. Is this an activity one? Yes. What are we gonna do now? We're going to accept the small problems. Like what? <laughs> like what's a small problem that I would not need to accept? The days I forget to make the bed. Oh, uh, but I have to accept that. <laughs> I'm being genuine. Do I have to accept that? I love seeing my bed made. I understand. It's the first thing I do when I, I get home. I understand that you love to see the bed made, but there are days that I forget. Every day. Not every day. How? You're yes. right. Not every day. It's the vast. But it's actually almost no days. Almost no days. But you make the bed late, like when you know I'm coming home from work and I don't want. It's made it's, before you get home. It's the difference. You can see that you were rushing to make it, what? and my pillows are not fluff, baby. You have to fluff the pillow. I'm not gonna beat the heck out of a pillow. <laughs> You're not beating it. You're just making it bounces and it looks so presentable in the bed, baby. You have to fluff the pillows. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to love the feeling. But, but yes. Like but what I'm it's not made it's not made exactly your way. Mm -hmm. right? But I'm making it and I'm making it the way I know how. The way you know how? Well you know how to make it the way that I like seeing I'm making it, it my way. I'm doing it. Okay. You see, you're so stuck in your ways, you're like So are you! What do you mean? You're literally arguing with me. I'm the one doing it. It should. It can be my way. Oh, when you do it, it can be your it's way. Such a strong you don't. Point I to don't it. complain. I don't complain when you do it your way. Because you don't care for it. You don't care if the bed has exactly. been made. Exactly. But for someone who cares, no, I kind and of you care know, that the bed is made. It's really nice to actually crawl into a bed. Exactly. I do care that the bed is made, but. I don't care how it's made, and I will make it. I will make it three different ways in three different days, because yeah. I like seeing it a different way. Point is, it may not be your way, but it's made. There are You're days, right. but the small problem that I'm well, there's there's a small problem you can accept. <laughs> It's, n it's it gonna be tough. I'm telling you the truth. It's mm -hmm. gonna be tough because you know when you when you're setting your ways and you're doing things this way, and mm -hmm. to you it's like the only correct way. It's gonna be hard when you know that I know mm -hmm. when when you know that I like it a certain way, but you think in your head that I, I'm the made, one doing it. It's my way. Exactly. <laughs> but you know that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be a, it's it's gonna be a learning process because at the end of the day, there's two sides to it where. I should be able to accept it the way you do it, mm -hmm. not because it's not made my way. Mm -hmm. I should be able to just be like grateful that you made the bed today. But deep down inside of me, <laughs> a part is like, you know, oh, I love to have my bed made. And some days I do it that way. Some, you do days, it I some, go, days. some days I go to the nines. Yeah, but I always but, like go cray cray when it's not. The, I, don't, I don't go crazy, guys. I'm just like. Yep, I'm gonna flip my pillows. I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna do this. You yeah, know? and malice but... me all night. <laughs> I don't malice you. No, it's like, it's not all night. It's it's only like five hours. <laughs> it, not five hours. I'm nah, kidding. it's 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 about like thirty minutes. So you yeah. sit there just pouting at me. <laughs> but for example, with small problems that I can accept. Yeah. So that's one that I that I should learn to accept. What's one small problem that you think you should learn well, to accept? Well, I was the one that listed the... Yeah, but no, I can't think of anything. Okay, what are some What are some things that you do? Mm -hmm. That you know you do. That you know bother me. But I want you to accept them? That's hard, because no, it bothers not you. necessarily that you want me to... Well, yes, that you want me to accept them. For instance, mm -hmm. behaviors of yours. Like, like what small, behaviors? Small behaviors of yours. This one, like, what, what, do you, what do you think you don't like? When I when I do the salad and treatment, is that one? It, oh no, no, that's that's not a small problem. Salad treatment's a big deal. Yeah, that's not. Oh, 
when the mo when the biggest thing in our uh -huh. I okay. found one. Okay. You know when I get frustrated and I ace my teeth, and you uh. ate it because you said you you, you said it sounds, it sounds ignorant. Illiterate. Yeah. It sounds ignorant and disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. You're like you're too intelligent to be doing like that. You sound so ignorant. And one and, I, and another thing too, it's disrespectful. And that's I'm not gonna say that's. In a lot of in a lot of ways, it's a small problem, but when it's directed to you, it's more of a disrespect. And disrespect between us is not, not a good. small problem. Yes. Yeah, so. But when you're talking to like other people or something like that, I can let that go. Yeah, but even most times, like if I you, you, you yeah, <laughs> even if I'm talking to other people. Oh, or, it, it, it infuriates me because yeah. you're too smart for that. And See, the only time it matters, mm -hmm. right? Is when it's directed. Is when it's directed at, when it's directed at me. That's yeah. the only time it's not a small, insignificant thing. Yeah. It's just a behavioral thing that you do sometimes. And you know what? I can accept that. As long as it isn't directed at me, because then it would be disrespectful. Yeah. Number five. Mm -hmm. Share your perfect day. I do that to you. I don't do that. I. It's a mix. Sometimes I have good days. And based on the vibe, because I sense vibe a lot. No, I don't rarely. I just rarely share them because. I don't think you and I are on the same page about what this point is. <laughs> 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 I thought you said we should share our good days. Like if we have a good day at work or. <laughs> Share your perfect day. What would make your day perfect? What would make a perfect day for oh, you? Oh, if we go hiking and no. do outdoor stuff, okay. that so perfect. Okay, so what this is, is share, Can I do it long? share, no, you? no, 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 what? describe to me what would create a perfect day for you. A perfect day will be, one, waking up in the morning, uh -huh. and cleaning together. Right? Because I love when we make breakfast and do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, I don't mind the breakfast. <laughs> you, don't mind the, you don't want to be a part of the cleaning, <laughs> don't you? Okay, so we do that. Mm -hmm. We work out, get like 30 minutes physical activities, activities done. Mm -hmm. We come home. Wait, do I in, include praying in the morning? Waking up doing Bible, you know, read, starting our day off with God as always. Mm -hmm. Do that, work out. Then, just go to a never-ending picnic somewhere, a creek side, and have fresh fruits, maybe on an island, maybe Jamaica, maybe somewhere, and really just be with you. Like, I don't know, I'd love to just go out, not think about anything. What's your perfect day? You know? Am I in it? Uh-huh. Okay. You'd probably be you, you, me, if not you, me, and the kids. Mm -hmm. taking, taking a boat trip. You see the kids? Yeah, taking a boat trip, like, mm -hmm. off the coast mm -hmm. to just go fish for, like, a day or two. Oh, really? Yeah, just deep sea So fish. we just live on the boat? Not just live. live. Just, no. just yeah. take a day and just go spend a day out on the boat fishing in the ocean for things like tuna. That would be awesome. Crazy. I think our kids would love that. Alright, mm. so next up is another one that we're not... That's more intimate? Yeah. What is it? Feel each other's heartbeat. I can feel your heartbeat. I can feel yeah, your it's, heartbeat. It's a little bit more intimate. Can you feel the same? I can't feel it like that because you, yours is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay, that's good. Oh, <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's really normal. And the last. Wait, but you touched me here. No, I stuck my hand in the center. Oh, in the center, just so yeah. you can. Okay. Come on, it's on the left. Last. Number seven, mm -hmm. let's practice gratitude together. I'm not good at that. Do, am I good at that? I don't normally tell you things that I'm grateful for. I just normally just 
soak it in by myself and not I mean I, I told you sometimes but I don't really tell you as much as you deserve to hear it that I'm grateful maybe the little things like you know how you start making the beds more consistently and stuff like that even that I should have been able to say I'm grateful thank you for being more consistent is that like a gratitude thing so yeah but, e but even in that you can like even in that that moment right there mm -hmm. thank you for that uh, that was a moment of gratitude yeah that's that's part of it, practicing mm. gratitude. Well, I didn't used to show you gratitude. Mm. Can't really I can't remember. I'd say about the first year and a half, two years of our marriage, mm -hmm. I wasn't really good at showing you gratitude. Mm. Like really being grateful for the things that you did. You used to tell me thanks all the time when I make dinner. Yes, but telling you thanks and showing you that I'm grateful. Okay, you're right. You're right. So it's like show gratitude. Yes. Practice yes. gratitude. Okay, okay. So, okay. remember what I told you the other day? Mm -hmm. uh, not the other day. I, I don't want to say the other day like you do and have it be an ambiguous term for some <laughs> time in the past. <laughs> yeah. It was about it was about two months ago. Mm -hmm. You and I, we were having a heated discussion. Mm -hmm. And at the end, I remember telling you, Wise is the well, wise is the tongue that knows well the words, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The same is truth for thank you. Mm -hmm. It takes wisdom to be grateful. Because it takes self-awareness mm -hmm. to step outside and look at even the little things that are being done. Yeah. Like, I, I am grateful for those little things and it takes wisdom mm -hmm. to see the little things and to be grateful for each of them yeah and it's, it's easy to say thank you for the little stuff yeah but it's not easy to show that you're really thankful for it now and it's also not easy to point out the little stuff you're right you're right that's the end of it mm -hmm. that's number seven so there were seven exercises that are fantastic ways to kind of the to build closeness. And just nurture your relationship that you have. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because most of these sevens are things that's not not weird, not strange to us. But in the same breath, it's, it's stuff that hasn't been done. We don't actively do it. We don't actively do them. It, it's yeah. not like the things that we have purposefully started doing, like washing one another's feet. That. That's it's really... a purposeful action, and doing these purposefully, mm -hmm. even once a month, yeah, I think is a fantastic way to build closeness and stability in your relationship, yeah. be they with your best friend, with your spouse, with your life partner, your boyfriend or girlfriend of three days or <laughs> three years. Yeah. It's a lot of these aren't too intimate and could be adapted for friends as well. Yes. So take some time. Get close to the people you love. Give out your roses. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>